Hello, I'm Troy Campbell. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Oregon, and I study psychology and marketing. And I also used to be a Disney Imagineer in Disney, Disney research. And today I want to talk about the three things that every great Disney ride does, and generally how we can take those principles to help us Disneyfy anything from our business to our dates, to if we're a teacher and we're just trying to have a great lecture. So what are the three things that all great Disney rides do. What they, the three things are, they take you somewhere, they thrill you, and they connect with something you already love. So let's take, for example, the Star Wars themed hyperspace mountain that's occurring right now. This is something that is taking us into the stars, it's taking us somewhere. It's thrilling us by being a very interesting roller coaster, and it's connecting us with something we already love, which is Star Wars. And if you look at any of the Disney rides that once existed and no longer exist, you can see that they fail to do all these three things. So they used to have a ride uh, called, I believe, the Malibu Jammer, which took you up into the air and then just dropped you. And it was just a carnival style ride. And yeah, it had thrill, but it didn't really take you into a new world. And it definitely didn't connect you strongly with something you already loved in the way that a Buzz Lightyear ride, the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride, or even something like the Haunted Mansion could, where it doesn't necessarily connect you to certain characters, but a whole world of concepts and stuff that you are already familiar with and love. And so when we're designing our own things, we can think about how do, in this lecture, at this party, in this date I'm designing, how do I make it feel like it takes me somewhere? And uh, how do I feel like there's a moment of thrill? And how can I connect it to things that people already love? Mm -hmm.